cups and high, high in flavor. Chicken time. Get yourself a clean board. This board here is only for veg, all right? Another board. Always have a spare board lying around. Chicken. Now, I find with, with my oven, right, I have to score these legs up. Just th that sinew, just there, or the skin. Let's call it skin. We'll <laughs> call it skin, Greg. And then I have the perfect chicken. Now, everyone has their own, you know, you trust your chicken, you do this, you do that. Doesn't work for some people. And then we just take the this out. Actually, we'll leave that in. Just cut it down because it's easier for people, okay? We're going to make this real easy, okay? So leave that in, all right? You can cut that out if you want, the backbone, but just leave it in. It's fine. All right, so you're going to have that. You're going to have chicken cut in half. Just cut it in half. Right? Now, put that to one side. Take your gloves off. It's got raw chicken on it. Go through your fridge. <laughs> if you can find if you can find some stuff lying around in the fridge, that's fine. Now I've got some uh, uh, well we'll call them shallots, alright? You can call them whatever you want, but we'll call them shallots. So the chicken is gonna lay. No, no. It's not, 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 not eggs, not eggs. It's going to lay on top of this aromats, all right? We'll call them aromats. Um, I've, I've got some, uh, I've got some beautiful, uh, I've got some beautiful Taylor fresh uh, bay leaves here. Thanks, Kelly, and thanks a lot. Oh, I can barely hear you. Okay, I'll, I'll turn it up. Is that better? Can you hear me, Kaz? Kelly's saying she can't hear me. Can you hear me? Is that better? The chat is yep, yep. Is that good? Do you need to turn your um wait, I'm gonna turn it up. Wait, wait, just keep on there. Okay, no, no, just stay there. No, 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 stay on there. I just turned it up. Alright. So we'll stay with the aromats. Because this is, yep, hear you. Oh, okay. Now, Kelly, I think you need to turn your sound up. I'm clipping at, and it, it's redlining. So I'll just turn that down a little bit. Um, now, um, for those of you that have got cabbage, right, and you think, well, I'll just wrap this in cling wrap and throw it in the fridge and it, you know, it goes off or whatever. I found if you wrap cabbage in... <laughs> If you wrap cabbage, I'll show you something. Wait. If you wrap cabbage in our foil, and I didn't know this, it lasts weeks. Now, I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, if you do this, right? If you do this, does that mean that all, all that stuff from your phone doesn't get through to your head because this is fresh like I bought it like about three weeks ago. So what is it about alfoil that keeps out all the baddies? I don't know. I don't know. Is that a thing? What, the alfoil? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a bed. Like this will work the the chicken's gonna be in the oven for an hour, right? So this is going to turn, not to mush, but I'm just putting a bed in there. Just whatever you've got in the fridge, right? This will transform into a dish like you wouldn't believe. Now I've only had, <laughs> I've only had, I've only had one iffy dish, all right? 
in the sea chef kitchen and that was with the gay coconut flour now that's not you know that's it's you know what i mean it's not good so with the chicken it's going to lay on top of this so it's 200 degrees for an hour so we're going to put these things under the chicken which means which i found in the fridge mushrooms whole mushrooms leave them whole okay leave them whole baby capsicums leave just leave them on just don't muck around with them some beautiful little tomatoes which will this the bottom of this is going to turn into a sauce it's going to be a saffron butter sauce which is going to go really well with the cauliflower rice okay just put them on now there uh, the lemon and the fennel is going to go with the chicken right so get your chicken so this is probably <laughs> this is pro uh, hang on i'm going to put some onion in there as well i've got to keep stay with it craig so <laughs> stay with me people <laughs> some onion onion oh look you see you can see what i'm doing now which is so good i uh, hang on i think the outfoil will stop all the bad stuff coming out of your head <laughs> mr lawrence and how's your team going hey eh? how's the roosters going i know uh i know manly had a bit of a brain you know freeze last weekend but that's okay because i'm a man you know i'm a manly supporter but when i when I see the score at 40 and Manly's losing, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of Manly supporters lose interest. But look, I'm not going to go there. I'm not, I'm not going to go. I'm, yeah, no, I'm not. It's, it's very controversial. All right, so just remember, everything under this chicken is going to be part of your dish. I'm not making gravy okay this will all it's full of moisture okay there's going to be saffron butter for for an hour at 200 it is going to make the most amazing dish you've ever eaten <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm winging it it'll work though it'll work it'll work it'll work i i haven't done it before but i know what's going to happen and it's 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 all good um okay now oh actually jamie doesn't like fennel does he okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the chicken breast right i'm going to do half fennel and saffron butter i don't know why i'm looking at the microphone i'm going to do half fennel and mush uh, and and saffron butter and half not so there so just get this chop it up a bit big chunks big chunks you can leave it whole, but just chop it up. Lemon. Uh, maybe just take, square those up, get rid of the end bits, and, and take, and, and take, take uh, I think there's some, and take, yeah, take the stickers off, all right? We don't want stickers. <laughs> I knew there was some on there and I forgot to take them off, but take the stickers off. All right, take the stickers off. Right. Just square them up. Because I've got OCD, you've got to square everything up. Right, take away the little bits at the end. You're good. You're good to go. There. Right. That's that, that, and that. Okay, I need a tea towel, which is attached. Uh, All right, so. Are you? Are you still up there? That's good. No different. Mrs. Taylor, I think you need to turn your volume. Do you have a problem with your speakers maybe in your computer? Like I know in my MacBook Pro, um, the, the actual, um, uh, the speakers aren't great because they're dirty. They need, they need they need new speakerage. 
even if that's a word. Speakerage is <laughs> not a word. I've been, Brains Trust said it's not a word. Right. Okay, get your chicken. Okay, this is the hero here. All right, grab yourself some uh, saffron. Now you can buy this. I don't know where I bought this. Did I get this? <laughs> I actually, I know where I bought this, and I can't tell you where I bought it because I didn't buy it. But um, uh, it's not cheap. But grab some uh, saffron from your local gourmet uh, either distributor uh, or store. It will be there. Actually, Woolworths and Coles sell this. So that's where you want to get it. Grab yourself some saffron. Now, when you watch, uh, when you watch uh, specifically uh, UK, our, well, actually US uh, cooking shows, they talk about sticks of butter. I have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> so, we're just going to make sticks, right? I think they're like, um, they look about 250 grams of sticks. But my, um, my uh, US followers will know what a stick of butter is. Because I don't, they look about 250. Right, so grab your, these are going to have to be a bit smaller. Yeah, get the ends off. That's an end. I don't like ends. Get yourself some more gloves. Oh, Mr. Lawrence, I forgot to, um, I forgot to um, congratulate you on the birth of um, another uh, another Lawrence clan member. And um, thumbs up to you, Mr. Lawrence. And I know it was probably. It was probably about six months ago, but um, I thought about it the other day and I went, oh, I forgot to say congratulations. So congratulations. And I'm sure you've got that. <laughs> I'm, sure you've got, I'm sure you've got the new clan member in the, um, in the Roosters jersey already. I'm pretty sure. Okay, chicken. Can you see that? What am I doing? All right, you're grabbing the chicken breast and you're just sticking your fingers under the chicken breast. It's not gonna. It's it's, it's not gonna tear. Just be gentle with it. It will tear if you're not gentle with it. This one's a little bit temperamental. So in here is where you're gonna store all your butter and saffron and lemon and fennel. Uh, we're gonna split this. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll just put some lemon. This side, lemon. Lemon, we're only going to put a little bit of fennel in because we have some non-fennel eaters, right? Okay, butter, butter, see that? Butter, butter, butter. I'm going to put another two in there because this butter is going to render down through the chicken, through the vegetables over here into the bottom and make a beautiful sauce. All right, let's put some more butter in because <laughs> I like butter. You might think, Craig, that's a lot of butter. It's just like, yeah, but you know, it's butter's good. I like it. A little bit more fennel. Throw that in there, okay? Now, just dry your hands off. That's enough of all that stuff. Get yourself some uh, saffron threads. Now, you know, these are delicate little things. So, normally it's, um, get yourself a dry surface and just pick out what you think <laughs> is a glorious amount of saffron. And she goes in like that. That's it. Get it into the butter. Butter's going to render with the saffron. 
and it's going to make the most amazing chicken you have ever, ever had. They're tiny little strands. All right, that's enough. AP Chill. <laughs> I'm so glad you joined me. And thanks. I do appreciate your feedback because, um, yeah, sticks of butter and all that stuff. I'm going way back here. Half a cup. So for half, yeah, 113 grams. All right. So what did I say? 250 grams. So I was 100 grams off. So, but I was only going on what I saw online. Um, and they were sort of sticks of butter. It was just like, what the hell is a stick of butter? We buy butter in blocks of 500. So we buy a block of butter in 250 grams or 500 grams. And then we just cut them down. They've got measurements on them. So that's what we do with butter. And when they say sticks, we don't know. So you can see the chicken here is just like, it's on fire. Look at that. It's got a little bit of a dent there but but that's beautiful okay all this is going to render down over the chicken going to go over the vegetables now it's at my ovens at 200 all right which is quite hot but um it's just going to work it's just how it is uh i haven't put any you know what i need to do uh garlic and what we'll do is okay so we'll just take the top of the garlic off and place the whole clove, uh, the whole, what is it called? A bunch? The whole pod? I have no idea. Put the whole thing of garlic into your baking tray because when this is done, or just maybe about 15 minutes prior, uh, that's gonna be roasted garlic and that even might find a little bit in the, um, the cauliflower and rice, a little bit in there, or uh, it may all stay in here, I'm not quite sure. So just pop that in there. That's all you gotta do. Okay, so that's salted butter, but it doesn't matter. Okay. We're gonna salt salt and pepper the chicken. Pop that on there like that. It's like, oh my god, that's just I think you need a bigger baking tray. That's good. You need a deep tray, okay? Because there's gonna be a lot of moisture in here. Do not have a really, really small tray. You will find that everything's just gonna explode and just flow everywhere. So look at that. I'll just, it looks better that way, I think. <laughs> but look, I've got another camera. Can, oh, at the bottom of my screen there, there's a little YouTube um, square. Can anybody out there in, well, whoever's watching this, can they click on that and see if it goes to my YouTube channel and see if it gets a subscription? Because I've got one subscriber, so I'm on fire but there's about 47 videos on there. So there's plenty to look at. Uh, I, I know they're not quick videos, so if you're looking for something to eat um, and some inspiration, uh, you have to get through, um, a, <laughs> you gotta get through a lot of shit before you get to the actual thing, content. But this isn't it, see, the thing is, the 35, sorry, 34% of, uh, of, of uh, let's just say, people on the globe are now not looking at YouTube as a five minute fix or 30 seconds or one minute. They're looking at live um, online content that they can follow and talk to like AP Chill and Maddie Lawrence and Paul Morrison and Kelly Taylor. They don't, wanna, they don't want the quick fix. They wanna watch somebody be at least coherent and <laughs> talk like they know what they're doing but we'll get there okay let's get this in the oven because it's going to take an hour okay give it a bit of salt you don't need any oil or anything there's a lot of butter okay salt just salt it because everyone loves a little bit of salt this is mold on salt from the uk it's farmed on top it's just google mold on m-a-l-d-o-n salt and like it's just like the most amazing thing that you have ever, ever eaten. Bit of pepper because this is my birthday present and I'm, um, oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so obviously my, so obviously my, um, 
My, so it doesn't do anything. But that's fine. But at least I know. So it was supposed to, um, it was supposed to take you to my uh, YouTube channel and subscribe to the channel. So I don't know. Get in the oven. 200, one hour. And put it just just put a timer on because then you don't have to worry about it. Done. Okay. Uh, we're going to do some roasted vegetables. So what we're going to do is. Grab yourself a bowl, that's probably a bit small. Uh, here Grab yourself a bowl. Chop up some veg. Now, I just throw this veg in with that chicken and in one hour, it's all finished. Now, the um, cauliflower rice only takes four minutes. But we do have some beans we've got to boil and all that stuff, so... Um, Let's just do the veg. <laughs> and good for me, I've got an empty dishwasher tonight where I can just keep filling until my heart's content. Is that how it goes? All right, so we've still got some nice organic Kent here, which isn't Kent, it's Japanese pumpkin. So. Now I'll stay with the gloves, okay? I'll just stay with the gloves. I don't mind gloves. Uh, do we want the skin? So I like the skin personally, but just make sure it's been washed and there's no dirt on the skin. I know some people here don't like the skin, but See, I've already got dirt on my board. I can see it. So just be, just be wary. We are going to keep the skin on. That seems to be okay. So just what you're doing is you're really just getting the seeds out. Grab the seeds out like that. Put that over there. So I can actually cancel that um, that silly little, um, yeah, what I'll do is, I'll get rid of that. I won't do it now, I'll do it later, uh, that silly little YouTube button. But if you're, I know, I know, <laughs> I know who the subscriber is to my channel. And Mr. Morrison, I do appreciate your support. Because it doesn't take much for someone to s just click subscribe, but you do, ne you do need a YouTube login. Okay, so... Like so. So, remember, they're going to be in the oven for an hour, so don't make them too small. If there's any... Yuck, that's gross. If there's any little crap bits, cut them off. In the bowl. In the bowl. In the bowl? Look at that. Look at that. You can almost see it. That's great. Just go around the... Yeah. That's good. I'm just cutting... There's a few little weird bits on it. So... But chunks. Do chunks. They're probably even a little bit small, but... They'll do. They'll do. I like big pieces of pumpkin. I just, I love them. Uh, sweet potato. So what we're going to do is we're going to segregate these. And is that a word, segregate? We're going to do sweet potato, uh, or we're going to do them all together. We're going to do carrots. We're going to do, nah, we're just going to do them all together. Now these have been in the fridge for a while, so I'm just making sure that they're okay. They look okay. Just give everything a bit of a wash. Oh, 
Ah, uh, yes. Oh, Sally, how are you going? Um, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Because it's Saturday. <laughs> Just <laughs> It'll happen, don't worry. Uh, chunks. Chunks? Chunks. One hour. I know the oven's probably been on for, what, 15 minutes? Uh, I think I'm cooking for seven again. Oh, no, four? Five. Five. Probably five. Now, we all love sweet potato and pumpkin. So, just chunks. Just <laughs> cut off all the, cut off all the mouldy bits. But I've been going through the fridge, so. So I want to try and get these in the, um, in the, uh, oh, I'm moving my board over. There we go. There we go. I'll move my board over. Uh, what have we got there? One, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. All right, so probably just don't um, don't um, cut up too much because I, I this stuff's all come out of the fridge, so I don't want it going back in there. Uh, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> They're whole. I've got a Brussels sprout hater. And it's only because he hasn't had a good Brussels sprout before. No, he doesn't. See, he doesn't know. See, people don't know about Brussels sprouts. Right, so Brussels sprouts, whole, right? Whole. Just take the end little crap bit off, whole. Uh, sometimes you'd mark the bottom like that, but an hour in the oven. You don't need to mark anything. Just keep going. And um, thanks for dropping in, Sally. I appreciate it. All right. So, you know, just keep going. Keep going. I'm making saffron chicken with cauliflower rice. What about the buttered chicken thing? Yeah, it's buttered saffron chicken. Listen, it's buttered saffron chicken on cauliflower rice with roasted vegetables. Vegetables. <laughs> All right, so that's... Oh, and some potatoes. Best potatoes on the market, okay? Royal blue potatoes. I have to look at that. Um, amazing. If you can, if you're in, if you're into potatoes, they are what you need. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have a look at uh, some biscuits because I like these biscuits. They're good. Oh, that's a little bit blue there. Uh, Blacks are blacks. It's getting dark outside. So I'm just going to get rid of some. <laughs> I'm, just, this is, I'm just going back to my blue screen. Right. I'm getting rid of that blue up the top because we, uh, you know, I do this all the time. Uh, we've got blue. Uh, I thought it was about. Okay. Perfect. See that? Perfect. Perfect. So Sally, what are you drinking? Are you drinking are you drinking uh, tequila? I don't know. Royal Blues. And Mr. Lawrence, what's going on with the footy? And Mr. Morrison, what's going on with um with Manly? And have you spoken to mother? Uh, let's do two halves. Right? Uh, actually. Uh, we've got 45 minutes, so, uh, yeah, that's, um, you know what? I'm going to do, hey, can you guys keep it down over there? Oi, oi, can you keep it down over there? Yeah, we'll do it somewhere else. Um, just quarter the potatoes. Quarter the potatoes. Because we'll almost have them in there shortly. Right. I might just use all these. Yeah, 
Right, there we go. <laughs> now get some oil, salt and pepper, throw them in the oven. Virgin olive oil, right, salt. Salt. And pepper. Bit more salt, because we love salt. Oh, we can hear you. Pepper. In the oven. Big tray with some Bad bait. So single layer with the veg, all right? Don't, not on top of each other. All single layers and try and get the potatoes facing upwards on their backs. An AP chill, high starch content in the blues, uh, way better, way better for gnocchi. Uh, they don't hold any moisture. And that's it, just leave that to go. Uh, so we've just got some green veg here that we need to prep just to uh, blanch off. Blanch. Self is so not not too big a pot, just small ish. Put it over there, put it there. There you go, you can see it. Uh, some what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. If you can find a Desiree potato where you are, AP. Uh, if you're doing gnocchi, yeah, get the Desiree. Which is, I think, is more globally known than the blue. But basically, what you're trying to do is, with a potato, is keeping the moisture out when you're doing gnocchi. That's heaps. I'm just trying to get rid of everything in the fridge. <laughs> um, we don't want that. Uh, actually, yeah. Oh, that's no good. Actually. Some people would call this cut a Chinese cut. So, I don't know. It's just to the side and down. Beans. Hmm? Singapore cut. Singapore cut. Yeah. It's the Singapore sling. It's the cut. No, it's a, it's a, it's an Asian cut. So just grab your beans and take top and tail. It's 
good. Today. It's not bad. That's it's alright. It's cheap. It's only 50 bucks. Well, it was on sale. It was on sale. That's enough beans. A lot of, there's a few people here that don't eat beans. Well, there's one, there's one person here that doesn't eat beans. Beans. Now, I, I thought I had some a bit more broccoli than, than I did, but... Um, that's all I got. But that's okay. Because some people don't even eat it. Just some broccoli. That's all we need. No thanks. I'm all good, unless mum wants some chocolate. Uh, I think she bought some today. You didn't? Oh, yeah, but you bought, don't you have, okay, so there's not a lot of green stuff going on here. Uh, that'll do though, I think. Um, we've got a fair few roasted vegetables. Uh, you're not in shot if you're over here next to the, in the um, fridge or butler's pantry, James. I was going to put some fresh bay leaves in with the chicken, but I forgot. So uh, these are from our neighbour. Um, and um, I just love fresh bay leaves. So they're not going to get a go today. They'll come in tomorrow. If there's a delay with the chat, it just doesn't mean that I'm not saying anything to you. Um, I think it's probably because there's a bit of a delay in the internet. Maybe. Um, okay. I think I feel like I need some more sort of green veg. That'll do, I think. I think what I might do is do some more beans. What do we got there? One, two, three, four. Um, no, that'll do. That'll do. So, 15 minutes before, we've gone through this before, 15 minutes before uh, you think you're gonna plate up, fill this with cold water, or, you know, above the veg, above the veg, fill it with cold water, right? Put it on high, bring it to the boil, let it simmer. By the time you've got everything on the table, these will be cooked or blanched, uh, not overcooked, and they're done. So just keep them like that. It's all good, put them over there. They're done. Oh, I was also going to do some... Oh, I know. Let's do some carrots. I was going to roast some carrots, but we're going to just have some cooked carrots. Because, um, let's just have some carrots. the most um, dangerous peeler on the market. <laughs> First time I used this peeler, I took a chunk out of my thumb. So they're good peelers, but they're not... <laughs> oh, that just took a bit off the plastic then. Uh, they're not my... Um, I like the uh, little white peelers. Uh, these ones, uh, they feel like you're um, in surgery with a scalpel. Uh, they're good, but your finger gets in the way. You're going to lose some skin. So probably uh, best if I keep my gloves on. We'll get through this. Oh, they're good. It's, oh. <laughs> it's a great noise, isn't it? That's good. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so they were going to be roasted, but we'll just give them a, a little boil. So we'll cook these a bit. Uh, we'll cut these a bit smaller. Uh, so... Um, they're not going to be too crunchy. So just take the tops off, take the bottoms off. 
Now you can um, you can put these, you can boil these, and then you know throw some uh, honey in, or um, you know some sesame seeds, or, or whatever, and make some really nice little carrots with some mint and things. But um, uh, no, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. So cut them in half. Uh, I'm gonna keep them quite long, but um, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Now they're not really battens because they're all different sizes, but um, uh, I'm not going to get into the um, the whole world of what size vegetables should be when they're called like battens, because okay? <laughs> I can't actually remember. But they're a batten, all right? If you can think of what a batten is, I don't know. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Just throw them in with your green veg. And then, see? It, it, it looks even better. Straight away. Ah. Uh, I don't know. What are you, um... What are you trying to say? QC pack. Well, they're good. Now, ah, oh, well, I don't know. Let's have a look. I do have some carrot already, right? I think we might make a little bit more cauliflower rice than this because we've got five people to feed. This actually breaks down. I've got to trim this up. There's a few brown bits on this, so I've got another. Um, I've got one of those and one of those. <coughs> and a bottle of that. And one of those. we've got some more cauliflower and it isn't this cute look at that it's like a little baby in a little box I know um, someone would really love looking at that but um, that's a that's a great way of selling vegetables in a little box it's like a little baby it's it's awesome I love it I do and you have to wonder if carrots do go. They do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Actually, I think you're onto something. Well, we call you Q. Well, we call you QC Pat. Or just QC, like QC in Australia, is a Queen's Court, which is um, um, basically if you're on the bar, uh, above the bar uh, of lawyers. So Queen's Court is way up there, way up there. So you've picked a good, good name. I like it. So let's get on. Let's get on to because we've got 38 minutes to go on the chicken. The um, cauliflower and rice only takes four and a half minutes in the microwave. So I'm, just, I'm not going to slow it down, but I just need to keep moving because you know me and my streams, they go anywhere between, what, hour and a half to three hours. So no, let's get this on the table in, um, in 45 minutes, 37 minutes to go, 10 minutes to have a chat, plate it all up, 45 minutes, whatever. So... If you've got Instagram to go to and stuff, you know, go for it. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. I, there's a few, um, uh, 
I think there's a, a way of a delay with comments, okay? So, and cheers. And I'm so glad you just, <laughs> I don't know how people can watch this, but I do appreciate, I do appreciate people um, watching because I do watch other, um, I do watch a lot of stuff on Twitch and I have been watching a lot of GTA um, with some f people I follow like Shrapo and uh, Big Dogs. I don't know where you guys are. But um, uh, it's, it's funny, um, but you need the time. And, um, you know, this isn't, a, this isn't a five, let's just say, this isn't a five-minute tutorial on how to make a saffron buttered chicken. This is, this is an hour and a half tutorial because um, it's live and unedited. <laughs> I can't even talk. All right, saffron. Uh, sorry, um, cauliflower, I've got to get the mixer. Right, get yourself. I wonder if you can see that. I'll push that around that way. There we go. Plug it in. Plug this little bad boy in. And thanks, uh, thanks, Thanks, uh, this isn't mine. I don't own it. And you know what? I bought a, a KitchenAid and I uh, haven't used it yet. Uh, I've been looking up um, health recipes and keto recipes through KitchenAids. And do you think I could find any? None. So I think there's a, um, I think there's a, there's a way in for me somewhere. If I can figure out how to do health food in a KitchenAid, um, I don't know. I think I might be onto a thing. So, just uh, you can look. You can you can get rid of these brown bits on your collie, or not. That's all there was. So not a lot. But I don't like looking at them. And now they're gone. So just take off. You're gonna use. You're gonna use all this. But just get rid of. Just take off. You know the dirty bit of stem. And the leaves. And that's it. Because you want all this. You want all this. Just take that bit off because it's ugly. <laughs> we just don't. I don't like ugly vegetables. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're a beautiful vegetable. But let's just get rid of the ugly bits. All right. Get rid of the leaves a little. You can. Yeah. That's it. So what you need. You can't just throw. Unless you've got a robo coop, Which I don't. Um, this is a fair, this is, uh, this mixer here, which I'll show you. Um, it's, you know, it's just a home, it's just a home one. So just cut, cut them up, cut your collie up into smaller pieces, pop it in, right, pop it in. I'll show. I'll, I'll bring the mixer over. Don't worry. I'm just showing you how I cut it. That's all. Just get it cut up. Because you don't. What you don't want to do here is overwork your mixer, your uh, food processor, and it can't turn into slop. It has to have a uh, like a sand texture. Because if you push it too hard, it's going to break it down. It's going to turn into crap. And I actually. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how this one's going to do because I've never actually made it in this one. But that's just, you know, it's just, you just got to do things, you know. Like, I'm, look, I haven't done this before in this mixer. Not mixer. Uh, what are they called? Someone's got to tell me. Food processor. It's a food processor, right? So it's pretty full. Okay, see that? Now I still got the beautiful little uh, collie there. Um, we'll see how we go with this. Now grab yourself some mint. Uh, pre preferably nice and clean mint. And this looks absolutely beautiful. Now I do have some in my garden, but um, uh, it's, it's, it's not real healthy. So I know it grows like weeds and I can't grow anything. So that says a lot about the Sea Chef's herb garden. It's not great. I'm getting there though. We did buy a few things. We've got some, we've got some beautiful 
um, uh, where are you? AP Chill, white pig face. Now Google this, white pig face. Okay, it's an Australian native and it's grown, I think, on the east coast near, I'm, I'm thinking near the beach, right? It gives out a beautiful white flower and it tastes like, what does it taste like? Kaz, what's the pig face taste like? Salty strawberries. Salty strawberries. Now, if you're into strawberries and you're into native uh, Australian fauna and flora, uh, we're going to put this uh, out the back and, it, and, it, and it's a, it covers, it's a ground cover. And it's a beautiful little thing, a little green one. And these one, I think you can, let's just give this a go now. It tastes like strawberries. That's weird. And I think you can, yum, that's so nice. Okay, so we just found these at Bunnings. I think they were like two bucks. So white pig face, all right, ground cover. Put them in, they're native to Australia, so they will just grow like weeds. Yum, that is so yum. So, so that's good, because we want things to grow like weeds, especially native, uh, native plants. Uh, like, um, and what I really miss in our garden is the lemon myrtle because we had a massive, I planted a lemon myrtle um, tree in our backyard many years ago and then we built another house here. We had to take the lemon myrtle plant out and we shouldn't have taken the lemon myrtle out. Um, lemon myrtle is just amazing. So uh, mint, mint into there. Put as much or as little as you want. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this will do the job. Uh, I'm all back to front here, aren't I? Hang on, I think that's right. Uh, I think that's enough mint though. Mints, you know. So I'm back to front, so I need to go, because my camera's back to front. Let's just move this around so <laughs> I'm just actually gonna go that way. Right, so we're pretty, we're pretty close at the moment. We're pretty close. I'm just gonna get off some biscuits. And we're gonna go there. There we go. Oh, where have I gone? I've just disappeared. Oh, hang on, I've uh, turned my camera off. There we go. All right, now, pink face or pig face? Pink face or pig face? Hang on. It's AP Chill, it's white pig face. Yeah, it, it should, will it, um, hang on, it's pretty bright in here, isn't it? Hang on, I'll take it right up close. Uh, nah, nah. So white, white pig face. Amazing, 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 amazing. But the, um, yeah, the lemon myrtle, even the bush, uh, bush tomato and, um, yeah, all those things, they're intense in flavours. Australian native foods, amazing stuff. Okay, let's just pulse this. Well, that's doing all right. That's doing pretty good. Perfect. So this is a um, this is a sunbeam. Um, exactly what you want. So what we've got here is and I think that's uh, it's probably enough and that I think that's trying to focus on that hang on I'll get that out of here but um, uh, we'll go this way so not to just so it's nice and coarse but not not wet so if you look on the bottom it's no sludge involved. So now what we do is we put this in a bowl, cover it with cling wrap and throw it in the microwave for four and a half minutes and that's done. So instead of eating white rice or, um, you know, pasta or whatever, just make yourself some cauliflower rice with some mint. You can put parsley. If you don't like mint, put parsley. If you're going something Asian, if you're trying to get away from white rice with Asian food, Throw some coriander uh, stalk 
and leaf in here and then throw it uh, it's amazing so and that's it so i don't think i'm not going to make too much more I, I think that i think that's enough for me and the other people that are here i'll just get this out of the way because i think my, my little camera is just freaking out okay so get yourself a, uh, a larger bowl like you know that's the largest ceramic bowl we've got so hopefully it'll hopefully it'll fill and remember I've done a lot of I've done a lot of veg right and we've got a whole chicken So, um, I suppose what I should ask you guys is, um, how do you like this camera on the, on the chopping board? Is it good? Is that better? I like it. Like, I'm sort of in between two, but um, I can see what I'm doing here, and you guys can, I can get real close with it. Like, I can even push that up. See that? That's awesome. So, now you guys can see. Now, I don't know how many people online... Uh, to be an affiliate, I need to get up to that. <laughs> I need to get up to three people that are watching at once. I'm at 2.56. But last one I had 12. So, you know, I'll put it to you this way. People that got about 6,500 followers, they have about 43 people uh, watching them. So uh, for me to have 12 and have 70, I think I'm doing pretty good. And I don't know what we're watching behind us. That looks like, uh, where are we actually? I'll just let you know. I don't know. We're in, um, we're in 8K. We're in 8K behind me. Can you rice any other kind of veggies? I don't know. Is that a challenge, AP? Uh, maybe we should. Um, uh, I, you could you could absolutely do broccoli, but who wants to have a? It's it's all about the mouth, right? You don't. I don't think you want to. This is like um, cauliflower is almost like a neutral flavor. Like it does have flavor, but if you have a spoonful of cauliflower with uh, with mint or a spoonful of broccoli, um, you are. Oh, yeah, it's either going to be yum yum or just like get that out of my mouth. Um, I like broccoli, but I don't think you could substitute broccoli uh, for cauliflower, and I think that this is why uh, they've gone with the cauliflower because it's not as strong in flavour. So I, I'm looking at the mic. I'm looking at the mic again. I think I should have a camera on the mic. So, all right, 23 minutes on the chicken to go. Wrap this in cling wrap. All right. And I've, I don't know if you've seen it, but we've put a curtain. We've put a curtain up here. And uh, just because we've got a big door there with a, um, with a window. And it was playing havoc, havoc on my light. I think we're in, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm over here. Hang on. I'll get out of your way. Yeah, looks a bit cold there. All right, cling wrap. So that, four and a half minutes. So when, you, when your time is coming down on your oven, four and a half minutes for this. Don't forget about your vegetables. 15 minutes before this goes off. So when this is at um, two hours, you know, when it's got 15 minutes to go, cold water, bring it to the boil. By the time you've all cut it all up, put it in your bowl, they'll be done. Okay, now, now tonight I don't. I'm not making any desserts because I I, I put on a little bit of work, a bit of weight, and uh, I think I just need to back off with the desserts. Um, but I'm just gonna um, <laughs> put a few, put a few things in the dishwasher. Because I can.
had a boy. I do love the um. I do love the uh. What, I don't even know what the words I'm looking for. So I sort of want to have a look at the chicken because, um, you know, when you're putting saffron and butter and all those good things together, you sort of want to have a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, and I'm sure you guys want to have a look too. I'm just, I, <laughs> I am going to have a look. <laughs> I can't help myself. Uh, because I want to see, I know that at 200 with that flattened chicken is perfect. Okay, but I, I need to make sure all the veg underneath has broken down and cooked and that butter has made a beautiful sauce because what I can do, um, I can take the chicken out, I can take all the veg out and what's left in the bottom of the pan, I could actually leave, if there's just a little bit of butter, like I could take most of the moisture out, make a little bit of gravy, but I think that's... Um, I think that's going to be a little bit, um, yeah, nah. Yeah, let's not make gravy. Or do you want gravy? I don't know. It's See, this isn't roast chicken. This isn't roast chicken. Gravy. You want gravy? Someone wants gravy. Oh, Mr. Morrison. And, um, yes, there are. There are. And not a good, um, not a good, not a good score last week with Manly. That's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> the light's pretty bright in here. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. So see what you're doing here. Clean, 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 clean. Just make sure everything's clean. I'm going to have a look in the oven and if I think it's worthy of showing you guys, like, you know, it, it could be, you know, either way. We've got 23 minutes to go. Oh my God, that, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm not going to, that looks amazing. I'm not going to wait. I'm just, hang on. Oh, it looks, it looks so good. It looks so good. So we've had a um, we've had a request for gravy. So what's going to happen is um, we're going to get the chicken out in 23, 24 minutes. Uh, we're going to let that rest on a plate. Uh, we're going to have a look at the veg. I don't have the other camera on here, um, but we'll probably throw a bit of um, flour in with the liquid to make a roux. R O U X. It's a roux. Silent X, it's French, right? It's a thickener. Uh, and then we're going to pour some uh, chicken stock. Chicken stock to make a gravy. So someone wants gravy with their saffron buttered chicken. So it's going to be a rich dish. <laughs> Just try to say that. A rich dish, okay? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Now, I probably should, I probably should make a dessert. Um, do you want me to make a dessert? I don't know. I've been on for an hour and ten minutes. I don't know. What do you want me to make? Oh, you know what I have to make? But I was going to do it on another day. I was supposed to make scones. Okay, so I've had a request from my one of my grandchildren uh, for scones. So, um, what have we got? Four minutes, 24. I could put some scones in there. They take around 18 minutes. Um, what do you reckon? Should we do it? I don't know. There's a nice ice cream behind us. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I don't know if we've got enough self-raising, but we've got some flour. You need two bowls. You need one larger bowl. You need a sieve. You 
need a measuring jug. Need some cream. Okay, so you need five cups of flour, self-raising flour. Now, I've probably only got one, but I've got some... Oh, hang on, let's go this way. Five cups. Two. You gotta do this three times. It's the best music. So I've got enough self-raising. I didn't think I'd have enough. So five cups of self-raising. And you do this three times. And I'm under the pump here because we've got to get this in within 20 minutes. Uh, that's a cup and a half. Uh, When you cooked on a ship, did you have to cook for people with special diets like diabetes or vegetarian? Um, yeah, sometimes, and very rarely. Uh, most people that work at sea understand that, um, you know, they can't be too picky. Uh, we give them loads of choices though. So, um, you know, you can just, um, you can just eat salads and meats and like roast chicken, like even cold stuff uh, for lunch. If you're really wanting to um, look after your weight or um, if you're vegetarian, uh, I've only had one vegetarian in 10 years. So, um, which was a real challenge, but um, you just do a bit. The thing is, see, when you're a vegetarian, or a special uh, dietary uh, person, you have to do, uh, you basically have to cook for that person uh, individually every day for five weeks. Um, you can't just give them uh, what all the other crew eat. Uh, so, you know, you, you can, you know, you gotta do breakfast, lunch and dinner. They have to have three choices for uh, lunch and uh, for dinner. You normally give them three choices. Um, and if you have a um, vegetarian or vegan in there, that means you've got to do four choices, um, which just makes your life a whole lot harder. Uh, because, and you're only feeding one person. So yeah, it can be a bit, um, it's a bit of a minefield. So that's two. So the last one. So you must do this three times. It's imperative that you do this three times. Um, I got this recipe from a 94 year old uh, country woman's association lady uh, that has made scones her whole life. So um, this recipe works and it's a good one. It's a good one, but the oven has to go up to 220, but we'll start at 200 because everything's in there anyway.
So uh, the recipe calls for lemonade. So I don't have any lemonade. So we've actually got some. Um, uh, we've got some. I think we've got some raspberry fizzy drink. You can put any fizzy drink in there as long as it's got sugar in there. Okay, so that's it for that. Make a well in the middle. Let's get all this flour off here. For you PSR people out there, I should have had my own <laughs> channel. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Make a well. We'll do it with the knife anyway. Well, 300 mils of Cold cream. It has to be cold. When does this uh, expire? 3rd of July. So, yeah, that's all right. That's good. Oh, look at that. Perfect. 300 mils. I don't need... So, we're going to whip some cream. We're going to have some, uh, I think I've got raspberry or strawberry jam in the fridge. We will eat these tonight. 300 mils in the middle. Where are you? Here you go. I forget I've got a second camera here. Doing an awesome job. Mrs. Taylor, how are you going? What time is dinner? Dinner's in, uh, oh shit, dinner's in 10 minutes. So I better motor. Okay, so I don't have any, um, I don't have any lemonade, but I do have raspberry Schweppes. So 300 mils of this. Wherever that is, I think I'm pretty close. Hang on. 300 mils. It can be anything. I've put all sorts of sweet, bubbly things in there. Right? It does, okay, it does turn the scones a little bit pink, but that's all right. Uh, I said uh, put the uh, veg on, didn't I, at 15 minutes. So get some water, cold water start, bring it to the boil. Right. Now, the trick to this is do not use it. Don't beat it. What I've got is a spatula. Right? You just want to... Now, they say cut it. So you just want to cut this. So you do not want rock cakes. You want scones. So you're cutting it. <laughs> it's all right, Kelly. I know. We've got plenty of choices here. Don't worry about that. You just have to make stuff. There's nothing else to do. It's so boring. But we've just got to just keep going ahead. All right. So when you will feel that, when that gets tough, see that? That's sort of tough. You'll know. You have to get it out of there and just knead it a couple of times with your hands. Show you. Get rid of your board. What I normally do is do this on the tray I'm baking it, but I've got the veg on it. So just bear with me. I might have another tray to put these on. <laughs> Without making too much noise. I do. Actually, this might work. This might work. 
Uh, just. So I am actually going to put some uh, grease proof on here because I haven't actually made scones on here ever. So grease proof down there. Okay, get this. We'll go this way. Can you see me? Yep. Just have a little look. Just make sure you've got a lot of the flour off the bottom because you're going to pour this because normally what you can do right is pour this onto your surface and then you can do whatever you want but I couldn't be bothered <laughs> Mr. Bevan how are you going I'm well and thanks for commenting we're making scones with uh, raspberry something okay put that in because I, I couldn't be bothered cleaning this this bench all right so I'm just going to do this. Just get it in here. I've, you've got gloves on. Now, get some gloves. Get some gloves. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring this together just a few times. Not, not, not a lot. Just. Now, you can get a cutter, a cookie cutter, whatever. I'm not going to do it with a cookie cutter. I'm going to stay with the 94-year-old CWA lady. And she doesn't do it with a cutter anymore. She just does it with a knife. So I'll show you. Don't worry, I've done this before. <laughs> but normally on, a, on, a, on, on a, a bit of a larger scale. Okay, that's enough. Okay, don't play with it or you'll have rock cakes. Get it down. This isn't bad, this one. This isn't bad for a um, for scones. All right, you're going to have a few little straggly bits there. But you can see what I'm doing. I'm just pushing it out. Self-raising flour, remember. It's nice and cold. It's going to go into a really hot oven. And it's going to... It's just going to explode. And <laughs> it's going to be awesome. All right, that's good. Try and get that, get it so it's... Um, so it's all level. Like, they're, they're probably going to be a little bit small. But that's okay, see... Because I eat too many of them. So if they're small, I can have more. <laughs> I can have more of them. <laughs> so we'll just pat that down. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. All right? That's good. There. Done. Get your knife. Right? Get your knife. Start in the middle. Down. Where are you? Down there. Down the middle. Down the middle. Right? Down there. There, that's all you got to do. Then this way, this way, and uh, let's go. I oh, will do smaller ones. Remember, I'm making these for the grandkids, not for me. So they're not going to be huge. That way, that way, and that way. And you don't have a cookie cutter. You just still got your, you still got your knife. So that's good. I'm going to take my gloves off because they they got a few holes in them. Now you need just a little bit of milk to put on the top. Now, the reason I'm like you can you can just because I don't have a massive tray, normally I just just pop them probably a mil, millimeter, just pull them apart, but I don't have that space. What's going to happen here is right, each individual uh, piece is going to push up against push up and push up so if they were separated they would turn into rock cakes and just go like this but if they're together they go they go up together this whole thing will be up here and then you just have to pull them apart that's all you got to do manly tomorrow good good yeah. Yeah. And and let's all just barrack for Dale Cherry Evans. <laughs> milk. We need milk. Get some milk. Now, um, now the lady that showed me this recipe, she would just use her. <laughs> she would just use her fingers. <laughs> but I'm not going to use my fingers because it's pretty gross. But this is like. Back in the old days, they just used their hands. But, um, but uh, I can't do it. Uh, so I'm just going 
going to... So I'm going to just, just get yourself a little dish. Not much. Just a little bit of milk. That's all you need. Now try not to... Um, the, the secret here is to not bathe it in milk, okay? Just dab it because you, if the milk runs down too much and there's too much milk in here, it affects the rise. So just, just touch it, just touch it, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a speed thing because I'm running out of time. Just a little bit. Go, 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 okay? So as you can see, these are pink scones, okay? Now, you know, where else are you going to get pink scones? Like nowhere but here in the Sea Chef kitchen. But they're good. But this is, uh, and that's it. That's all you got to do. They're done. And um, now, uh, every oven is different, okay? These need to go into a hot 220 degrees preheated oven. You can't put them in an oven that is at zero temp. They will just, they won't work, all right? So 220, uh, this is at 200, so that's fine. It's been on 200 for about four hours. So... Um, <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for letting me know my vegetables are boiling. But um, they're done, all right? So they're done. They're done. Veggie's done. Uh, we need to turn, turn the induction off. The chicken's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase... Increase the temp oven to, because these are going to take around 18 minutes. What I do is at 10 minutes, turn them around and then maybe give them another 8 to 10 minutes to really cook. So 20 minutes. Some people say 12 to 15. This oven isn't great uh, with high temps. Uh, so that's what I know. Oh, look at that. All right. Um... What I need to do is... Alright, so what I need to do now is get the chicken out and let it rest. Because someone wants gravy. And we weren't going to do gravy, but now I've got to do gravy. Because mum wants gravy. So put, the, put this in the microwave for four and a half minutes. But I'm only going to do that prior to serving it. Okay. Okay, so the oven's gone up to 220. I'm going to show you the chicken. Chicken. And that is the chicken. Which way will I go? That way? Oh, if you could smell that saffron. Hang on, I'll turn it around so you can see the goodness. Can you see that? Um, hang on, I'll bring that. Look at that. Oh my God. See that saffron? That, and if you could smell that saffron and see the garlic. That's sort of, well, it's not burnt. It's good. And um, <laughs> that is fucking, <laughs> that is perfect saffron buttered chicken. And uh, there's some beautiful juices in there. Okay, so we're going to rest that. Okay, and the veg. The veg, I reckon, the veg is cooked, but it's not crunchy. So what we might do is, uh, we might well, we'll pull the Brussels sprouts out because they're, they're, that's all done. But I want these, they're cooked, but they're not crunchy enough. So we're going to crunch up the veg, take the Brussels sprouts out. Uh, uh, take the Brussels sprouts out. Uh, the oven's up to 220 for our pink, let's call them flamingos. So take out... Uh, Take out the Brussels sprouts because they're cooked. Oh, I can't wait to eat these. I love, and these aren't frozen Brussels sprouts. These are 
fresh Brussels sprouts, mold on sea salt and pepper, and virgin olive oil. That's it. <laughs> it's just not a, it's just not enough. I'll eat all them. Okay, so it's two twenty. So we're just going to pop this in, and we're going to just leave them in there. And then when you're going to serve everything else, just take them out because that they'll be done. The pink flamingos. In they go. Right, two twenty. Now put a timer on for them. They put a timer on for 10 minutes because at 10 minutes you're going to turn them around. Put another timer on for 10 minutes and they're finished. Okay, so where are we? Uh, your tilt, yes, I've tilted, yes, you've tilted the camera. Uh, nope, and how could you not have gravy with roast chicken? Miss Bevan, it's not roast chicken. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's not roast chicken. It's not roast chicken. But I want to eat the Brussels sprouts like now, like they're, look, they're like, they're an hour whole roasted, yum. Okay, what I'm going to do is, there's the chicken, all right, I'm going to get this off and uh, let's put this on, uh, I just need to put it on just whatever. Doesn't matter because it's I'm just gonna put it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I like using Glad Bake because then you don't have to wash things up. Doesn't matter if you have to wash them up. Doesn't matter. Right. So I still want that to rest. Okay. Don't just rip into the chicken because it's just it's not gonna work. Right. So just oh, it's just gonna rip anyway. Yeah, that's good. That is just so good. All right, so this stuff, right, this is like, this is just, oh, this smells so good. So this is, okay. So what this needs now is the roasted garlic as like this, right? I know I was going to put some in the cauliflower rice, but I want to keep the cauliflower rice as neutral as possible. Because it's got the mint in there. So that's good. Now, from here, this goes in a big pot and on the stove, and we're going to boil it. And I've got to take some, I've got to take some butter out of here to make a roux so I can make the gravy. All right, this is a, a process. Okay, now, I'm going to just throw this back in the oven. Oh, actually... I won't. I'll just leave it out. There's no room in there. Okay, in a in a pot. In a pot. This isn't your regular like chicken dish. Okay, it's not. It's not something that uh, most uh, people <laughs> would eat. But, mate, by the time I'm finished with it, this is where all the flavour is. So I'm going to break this down a bit. Right, so grease, pr grease proof, you're your right hand man, all right? See that? You don't even have to wash it, just rinse it. <laughs> no, you, you've got to wash it. But get yourself some grease proof. Right, as you can see, that's where all the goodness is. I'm gonna take a bit of this butter out now, make a roux and make a gravy. That just smells, like you could just eat this with some, fuck, I'm so hungry. No, it's too hot, I can't eat them. All right, get, an, get another little pot. Little pot, little pot. 
take a bit of the juice out of here. You need to hold back a bit of this stuff. So remember this is, majority of this is butter. So we're gonna break this down. I'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. Uh, you need equal quantities of flour to liquid. Oh, look, I've got, <laughs> got flour here. <laughs> Perfect. So get this on. I should take this camera over, but all right. So this is already hot. So if you could imagine a little bit of butter in your hand, which is probably, see, that much, throw in some flour, equal quantity to liquid. Get yourself a spoon, cook that for just a few minutes, and then that's your thickener. Then add stock, and you've got gravy. I like using a spoon first, then a whisk after the stock goes in. And it wouldn't be all this fucking effort. All this effort, all this effort for nothing. because this is my Saturday night. And I know this happened on Wednesday night or maybe even Tuesday night, I'm not sure, but this is on special, so it's good. All right, so I should have a third camera over the top over here. It's all cooking, don't worry. I'll show you in the end. But we need to go somewhere else. Let's go. Okay, so that's, no, that, oh, okay, so that's a temp. All right, don't worry. That looks like Iceland or somewhere. Are we 8K? Three? So it looks a bit cold. I don't like that. Let's go back to Sydney. All right, we'll, we'll be in Sydney in two secs. Somewhere. Sydney. We all love Sydney. I think I put some, um, oh no, that's plain flour. Normally self-raising flour froths up a bit, goes a bit. But look, we, you just wanna cook the flour with the butter or the juice. Right, now you can color this, like this is like red, it looks like, it looks like, um, it's the obviously the red cabbage flavor. Now, you know, a carry, caraway seeds would really be nice in this mix. I'll get another spoon. What is going on? Let's turn this back on. Okay, so get yourself some uh, chicken stock. I like salt reduced stock. That's how we do it. So get yourself some stock. Uh, that's probably gonna be, let's just uh, get, uh, that'll be good. I can thicken this up with some more roux. 
But I wasn't going to have... I wasn't going to have... Gravy. Alright? Because we've got... We've got saffron butter. You don't need gravy if you've got saffron butter. So basically get... get Look, where are you? Get a whisk. Right? Now if you're really scared of ruse and stock... The problem is, if you've got hot stock and a roux, uh, yeah, you can fail. But if you've got cold stock and a hot roux, get yourself a whisk and work it in like this. And then bring it to the boil. Slowly, okay? Okay, so that's 10 minutes. I've got to turn the pink flamingos around. <laughs> I don't know why I call them pink flamingos. They're pink scones. I just need to get this off the bottom. That's good. All right, so that's going to, as this heats, it's going to thicken. Like a lot. But don't, don't turn your back on it. And because I have to, it's only going to be on about four out of 16. If you could just smell all those veg and the saffron and all, oh, yeah. Right, so let's turn the uh, scones around. What, what, oh, sorry. <laughs> people are having shots with me, okay? They, they live halfway around the world. If this is the only entertainment people have got, well, well, that's all good. All right, so as you can see, they're sort of half, they're sort of half up. So, let's crank this up, crank it up. I'm going to put 15 minutes on this after it's been turned because I forgot about it and I reckon it needs another 15 to 220. And it's at 200, so it's way down. All right. All right, so now you can concentrate on your gravy. So I'm going to max, I'm going to max it out and spend a couple of minutes with it. And have a chat from over here. I don't know if you can hear me. I, know I've got my, I don't have another camera. Let's bring this one over here. I, um, maybe I can just reach this one over. Let's have a look. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, is it that long? Let's just see how long it is. Maybe. Let's go over here. What's that look like? Does that work? Oh, look at that. Sort of. Sort of. Let's go. Aren't we there? There we go. All right. So as you can see, I've got the, you know, that's just breaking down. Amazing. So if you cut that cabbage up, if you cut that cabbage up, it'd be disintegrating into just, you know, nowhere. So keep it large. You know, we love everything large. This, that, you're just trying to bring to the boil and keep it whisking. Keep it, you know. The veg is already cooked. <laughs> it's probably overcooked. But let's put the cauliflower rice on four and a half minutes. It's on. It's on. Oh, that chicken is absolutely stunning. I'm going to boost. I'm going to, where are you? <laughs> I'm going to over the shop. I'm going to boost this. And you know when you boost, when you boost on induction, uh, don't leave it. It's, it's, it is going to stick. Oh, this is just spectacular. Spectacular. Oh. oh, I should turn the hood on. <laughs> it's all in my face. Right. Oh my god. Right. So we're coming up. That's good. See, I can, I can do, I can do all sorts of stuff. 
Okay, so um, all right. So I've had a pretty good. I've had a good chug at that. Where am I? That way. <laughs> Fifty-four dollars. Okay, it was it was cheap. It's not bad. It's 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 not as good as the other ones I've had, but it's okay. Okay, see, it's already getting thick. It's already getting thick. What time is it? Have you got the time? You don't have the time. This. Oh, oh my god. What time? This is like my god. That is just like. This, I hope I've got the cameras, uh, yeah, the bay ring is on. Okay, the ISO, yeah, it's all good. Nearly 6.30. Oh, look. Hands down. The smell of this is just amazing. I'll just go this way. Hang on. There we go. There we go. That's all I need. Thick, or, thick already, thick. Probably need to taste it because it's a cabbage gravy. <laughs> and I do a low salt in the uh, stock. That's pretty good. I think it needs a little bit, maybe a little bit of salt. Um, a little bit of salt, that's about it. Little bit of pepper. Oh, you know what it needs? Little bit of bay leaf from next door. Where is it? Somewhere. Fresh bay leaves. Now, if you've never had, if you've never had fresh bay leaves, you're missing out. Now, <laughs> they've tried. They're from next door. All right. Oh, there we go. So that's it. That's going to thicken up straight away. So just let that let that go. All right? Is, is it better with the light off? I don't know. Is that better? Oh, well, that looks horrible, doesn't it? Let's leave that on. I'll just, I'll just have a look, see if it's on order. Yeah, it's on order. It's alright. That's how, that's what we do. Right? Bit of salt and pepper. That gravy, that gravy, that's pretty good actually. And I've got people, i got people watching me with my tequila. It's fucking weird. Alright, throw your Brussels sprouts in. because They're hot anyway, but they've got to go in. chicken up and I'm just going to throw it back in the oven for five minutes and it's done. So new board, another, bo another board. Uh, you can't actually, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back over here. You're going to see the chicken, see the chicken, whoop, whoop, whoop. there we go, somewhere there. All right, hang on. There we go, chicken, gloves, because I love gloves, because remember, if you want to pick up some hot food, double glove. Just double glove. That's all it takes. Now, this isn't, it's not really hot, it's just warm. So just one glove will do. But if you've got a big piece of, um, big piece of meat that's, uh, that's really hot, just put two gloves on, right? And you'll be able to pick that up. Well, sort of, depending. <laughs> Please don't, don't go and pick that piece of meat up. All right, um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, like, that's just, I'm going to just take off, look at that, that is just, that's just perfectly cooked chicken, perfectly cooked, I don't know, per perfectly chooked chicken, 
Uh, remember, I didn't take the... Um, uh, that's okay. That's it. That's it. Done. Look at that. Look at that. That is perfect. Look at that. Hang on. I'm just going to show you something. If you've never seen perfect chicken, that's what it looks like. That is like dripping. See that drip? Drip, drip, drip. That's what perfect chicken looks like. Cut that. Cut the breast in half. Oh my God. This stuff is just like... Like people pay for this, you know. <laughs> oh my God. Now, I want to show you something else. Now... If you've never seen saffron in its full glory, look at that. That is saffron in its full glory. All right, that's done. In there. Okay, get yourself a platter. Take your gloves off. Uh, actually, wash your hands. Okay, platter. Oh, hang on. Uh, the the little the little uh, I've got stuff in the oven. Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god, that is just like next level. Like who would have thought chicken? <laughs> who would have thought chicken was so so um, so exciting? I think I'm onto something here. I think I am. Okay, I need to get those out. They're done, but the the scones aren't. <laughs> they need about probably 10 minutes. It's too steamy in there. Uh, let's uh, let's go back here. It's not hot enough in the oven for the scones, but fuck the scones, all right? Okay. Okay, so the gravy's, the gravy's done. The veg is done. The veg is done. Uh, I'll just bring that over there. That's the server. This, oh my God. This is just like amazing. Don't worry about the veg, like the green veg. It's just veg. Okay, so the, the beautiful mint cauliflower, oh my God, like that is just amazing. Pop this down, it's done, all right? Oh my God, that just smells like you would not believe. I think, I think my sink's, my sink's filling up. I need a kitchen hand. Right, so I'm gonna pay someone to be my kitchen hand. All right, so. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, I'll pay in tequila. But before we eat, we must drink. That's what we must do. Because it's a Saturday night. Cheers, everyone. It's almost done. Ah. Oh. Oh. Almost done. Almost done. Right. Now this, this is the most, if you could smell this, if you could bottle this and, oh. What I'm gonna do is, right, what you do is here. I'm gonna put that there, put that there. Put that there, put that there. I, I need to show you, right? I need to show you what I'm doing. Get yourself a big dish. 
This is almost like couscous, and if you're in a Middle Eastern restaurant, it's cauliflower and mint. It's good stuff, right? You've got roasted veg that has been cooked in saffron butter with capsicums, gar roasted garlic, Ben's favourite, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Sorry about that, PSR. I know I should have my own channel, but that, right? That, 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 that. Look at that. I don't know which camera I should be going at. The, the, the 8S is pretty good. That's not bad. We'll, we'll just get that little bit of stuff out of the way. Tell the other old man in the room to have one. <laughs> That's you. People are saying, Ben, people are saying that you need to have a shot. Oh, he's not going to have a shot. Not drinking for a second. Oh, uh, he's got dry July. See, I don't do dry July because I'm just, I just can't cope with life in general. All right. Um, I'm moving pretty fast now. Let's just bring this to a close. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful chicken. Beautiful. Oh my God. Like, have you ever seen saffron chicken like this before? You haven't. Because you've never experienced food like the Sea Chef Kitchen ever. It's just like, it tastes as good as it looks. Oh my God. It is like, and we'll just tuck that bit in there. But you know what we do? We go like this because then we just turn that over and just, yeah, see that? Thing? Now, you know what else I've got? We've got a bit of lemon there. And we've got some beautiful, oh, that's hot. That's why I say two gloves, even though I've got one. Uh, we've got saffron butter chicken with cauliflower rice. Uh, I've got gravy, but you know, it's not, it's, it's not. You know what would have been really nice with this? Some preserved lemon with even some tzatziki. And I could have made some mudabark. Oh my God. Careful what you say. Where are you? Look at that. I got some live footage here. Okay. Now, okay, we've got some roasted veg. Okay, so this is gonna go there, right? So we've got, it's like going out for dinner, isn't it? So that's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, hot. So we've just got some roasted veg because everyone loves roasted veg. So that was at 220. I'm still waiting on my um, pink flamingos to come out of the oven. But they've, these, this veg has been on for an hour and a half. So <laughs> it's cooked. <laughs> I just need to get it on. I just need to get it on. You shouldn't be putting those things on your face. I, I will say that now. All right, look at that. So that, that, that. And also, also, got some green veg which you know you just have green veg because you know it makes you feel good oh that's just not big enough uh plates with, uh, whatever nine minutes okay I was wondering why they weren't cooked okay green veg green veg and I do appreciate you yeah oh thanks Kaz <laughs> thanks <laughs> I can't even look at you <laughs> we're getting there we're getting there and um, I've got something else don't I have something else gravy uh, where do we put that in we put that in the dish where's that
some gra- we've got some we've got some gravy. I'll just make sure that you know. I've got gloves. They've been changed. All right. It's more a um. It's more a um, a ju- a a, 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 uh, a chicken ju. <laughs> but a, a chicken ju will do. There, all right. So there you go. So um, it's all worked, and it looks pretty good. No, you could put some um. You can put some stuff here or stuff there, but uh, let's face it, when you're hungry and you want chicken, but you're not looking for the carbs, come to the Sea Chef kitchen, because that's where we're going to do it. We're going to do it here. And if you want to lose some weight, this is where you're going to do it, right here. Okay, dessert's not probably where you want to be, but um, but uh, knives and forks and... Uh, and uh, it's a Saturday night. This is what we do on a Saturday. Like that is perfectly cooked. Like, see the saffron? See the saffron? See that? That's what you want. Saffron. All right. There's plenty of bones in this one. All right. So, looks delish, and that's some gravy. But enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are Australian, and Australians love. Uh, big boats of gravy, all right, but it's chicken stock with bay leaves, so it's a bit weird, but it'll do. But thanks for uh, hanging out with me, Sally, and um, I'll see you all. Uh, <laughs> just- <laughs>